I'm not bragging. But <laughs> fellowship is not my force. We the kind of children go. But if you have a brother, you have a father, you are from royal family. If the children just stay on the house one one night, when I come back, I'm from Osaka family. You are from Osaka family. Okay. You are the Edoman from Osaka family. Look at you people should see the animal that you are today. You did not kill anybody. It's a lie, and you know it's a lie. You know it's a lie. You bitter and you are lying. You are lying. If you video me, no one put on Instagram. It will be really famous. Yes. I'm a celebrity. Yes, you are a celebrity. That's what you are about to be now. It's okay. I'm not a person. I don't care anybody. You've been busy here separately. Mistake. Accident. It's accident. I will post the video. None of my officers here is feeling you. No other person. It's only you because you are clearly high. You are not in your mind. Hey guys, you're welcome back to ZK TV. I hope you're doing great. Happy New Year once again. If you're here for the first time, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you. The video you just watched went viral sometime in December 2020. The man beat up his wife because the daughter, one of the daughters, peed on the bed. So he didn't like it. Maybe there was an argument or something. He beat up the woman. He had gave the woman a cut on her face. Blood was everywhere. If you listen to that, uh, if you listen, you you heard where the woman was, you know, she was mourning. It wasn't it wasn't small. The beating was not small beating. You know, when somebody takes that time to do something, that was what happened. You also heard somebody telling him that. I'm going to post this in online. He was he was telling the person, oh yeah, do, go ahead. You are making me a celebrity. Can you imagine? That's not good enough. Now, a child peed on the bed. What's the correlation between the beating of the wife and what the child did? They, they didn't import this child from, from elsewhere. It's your flesh and blood. So why are you beating your wife for something a child did? The they are children. There's nothing you can do. All you can do is you get a marking touch. Put it on the mattress before putting the um, um, bed sheet. When they pee, you just remove the bed sheet, wash it, and the, the mattress is still okay. The urine will not get to the mattress. No, it will not. He didn't like it. And he was even bragging. That is the problem we have here. You do something wrong, instead of you to apologize, you'll be bragging. When, when it dawns on you that, oh, you have m m made a mess of yourself, you go and start looking for who to beg. The child is your child. It's your flesh and blood. As a father, what effort have you, have you put to ensure that the, 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 the child stops bedwetting? What, what effort, what did you do? Instead of taking it, out, taking it out on the woman. See, marriage is not a tea party. It's not a death sentence either. If you're not mature enough for marriage, wait till you are convinced within yourself that, oh, I can handle this. It's not about fathering children. Marriage is beyond that. It's not about fathering children. Okay, this is my child. Oh, this is my wife. No. There are other things involved in marriage. You have to look at it critically to know whether you are qualified. That you are a man or you are 30 years or 40 years doesn't, make, doesn't qualify you to be a husband or a father. There are other things that you will look at and say, ah, this one, no, I cannot bear it. Too. This one I cannot bear it. Because the person you are getting married to is not a saint. The person has flaws. Likewise, you. So when a child does something, that is not the time for the husband to start beating the wife or the wife to start blaming the husband for anything. If there is anything in the family, you look at it and settle it within yourself there, not inviting a third party. Everything is, a, is now social media. Social media, Marie, social media, everything. You cough, you put it out there on social media. For what? If he had apologized that day, I don't think this uh, video will find itself, itself out there in the open. 
But he was bragging. He was he was, he was social of himself. He was even telling the uh, maybe social worker or the police uh, woman that ah I'm so 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 person from so 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 family. Something that doesn't make sense. That is why the society is the way it is. You do something wrong, you cannot apologize. You cannot say, I am sorry. Please forgive me. Things like this have made so many made a mess of so many marriages. And if they stay happening today, I don't even know what our society is turning into. Marriages are just breaking up anyhow. Little thing that they could settle. No, they will allow it. They will leave it. It will become an issue that they will be calling people to come and help us settle the matter. Your child peed on the bed. Is it supposed to be an issue? Your own, your own daughter beat up the woman. Now he's coming back to beg. The name is uh, Mr. Saga. Um, I just want to apologize to the whole world for what happened recently to me and my wife. And uh, I'm really sorry to the whole world and I want to t t uh, beg you people to forgive me. And I want to also beg my wife to also forgive me. Because what happened the last time was not intentional. And I did it on purpose. And uh, that very day, every day, it was, and the pleasure in me that day was too much. And I was not in a good mood. That led to all this violence of a thing. So I believe uh, uh, this thing is not going to happen again. I've learned my lessons. And uh, I believe other men will learn a lesson from this, from what happened to me recent. And I really want my family back. And uh, I love my family, I love my wife, I love my two daughters. So please, I want to apologize to the whole world to forgive me. And uh, this thing will never happen again. Please, I'm really apologize to the whole world for what happened recent. It was not intentional. Most times, you know, the way we may be, you know, they will put you in the world to the extent that you will lay hands on them. But no matter, you're supposed to let go as a man and you're supposed to have endurance as a man so i've sat down think about it i really regret my heart i was not really happy for what happened because this thing has gone far the whole world so i'm apologizing to the whole world now you should forgive me and i trust i be, i i i am apologizing and I, this thing will never happen again and i believe i've learned a lot for what happened recent so so I'm so, so, so sorry. I'm a, as far as my wife, I love you so much. I love my daughter. Please, I want to go back home. And I apologize to the, I'm apologizing to the uh, uh, human rights to please for The woman had to leave. I mean, who wouldn't? It didn't happen in, in Lagos State here. Yes. The woman had to pack out, leave there so that this guy doesn't send her to an early grave. Now he's, he wants the woman to come back. He's doing a, a video of himself, telling, uh, apologizing publicly to his wife, to his daughters, to Nigerians. For what? You allowed, he said, claiming that he allowed his emotions to get the better part of him. That is, the, that is always the explanation of it, you know. That is what they say. You will do something with your eyes wide open. In your right senses, you will let her come to apologize. When your head has cooled down, hmm? you will come back to apologize. When the woman has already left, how will you convince this woman now that you love her? You don't love somebody and that person becomes every day you, that is where you go to test your strength. You are the one that says you love her or you love him. All the emotional abuse, all the verbal abuse, everything, the, the, the violence. You look at all these things. Are they worth it? You love somebody, you love the person. Show the person love. All this, I love you, I love you. Love is action. Action based. It's your action that will show somebody whether you love them or not. You love somebody and you turn the person to another thing. You shout at them every anything. What happens to self-control? Can't you rein in your emotions? Can't you keep yourself in check? And do the right thing. And leave the woman alone. Take it easy. They are ch children will always be children. With, with time, as time goes on, they will, they will overgrow that stage. And you, and you won't have any problem. 
Or you get a bigger apartment. Let them have their own room. Yes? They will not come to your room to pee on your bed. Let them have their own room so your things will be balanced. You will be fine. Everybody will be happy in the house. Don't have a, a home and you turn your home into a war front. The children are there watching. That is the problem. That is why we have so many traumatized children in our society. They are watching their, children, their parents. Bring up your children well. Because the, the girl in your house is somebody's wife tomorrow. The boy in your house is somebody's husband tomorrow. If you do not bring them up properly today, the violence, the maltreatment, everything, they will continue. There will be no end to all these things. But the, what we do today will determine how they will turn out tomorrow. If the, if the family is not safe, if, the, if there's no happiness in the family, how will the society be, be, be okay? Because it's from what you have in the, in the house, what you have in the family. It's, the society is the extension of the family. So we have to do the right thing. Now he's begging. He wants the woman to, he's appealing to, her, appealing to his wife to return home. Let him, he knows where the woman is. Or let him go and look for her. This one will not be nice. Telling us, begging Nigerians to help appeal to his wife to forgive him because he did something inappropriate. They are somewhere in Dubai now, holiday, and enjoying themselves. This one has come with his own. No, this guy should go and look for his wife where he chased her to. Go and convince her to come back. Whatever you tell her that will make her to come back, no problem. But this time around, you are strictly on your own. If you do not want to get married, it's not by force. Don't get married because your mates are already married. Get married when you know that this thing called marriage, I am ready for you now. Anything that comes with it, I am ready. That is how it is. If you are not, leave it until you are. Stop turning other, 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 other people's children to something else. Making their lives miserable. You are coming back to your home, your children are running, are running away. Scampering for safety because the lion is back. You want them to be scared of you? You will not like it because the, the, when you will grow old, that is when you, you will find out that, oh, you cheated yourself all this while. Let us do the right thing. Be patient with your wife. Be patient with your husband. Be patient with your children. Love them. Show them care. Care for your family. Some men have good wives, obedient wives, supportive women, hardworking women, women that give them peace. No, but they don't want it. They do not want it. They come, they come back home from, from, from wherever, they, wherever they are going to, to be a terror in the home, traumatizing everybody. Children are running away. They're always looking at your mother. Mommy, are you, are you all right? Mommy, are you all okay? Mommy, are you fine? Mommy, are you crying? Haba, it is not proper. We have to begin. You have to consciously decide to do the right thing. It takes a conscious effort. If you do not do it that way, you will never have a happy home. Because that marriage you are admiring out there, they, they have not told you what they are, they are, they are, they are, they are, they have not told you what. The challenge, the, their challenges may be. But when they come out, you like them. But they have challenges. The only thing is, they settle it. You don't get to hear about anything. Let your own be like that. Let us have lesser divorce in our society. It's, be, it's becoming too much. It's becoming an everyday thing. And the children are watching. Fight less in the home. Do not beat your spouse. Either the wife or the some women beat their husbands. Stop via, the domestic violence. It does not help anybody. Let him go and look for his wife. When they reconcile, we will see they when they reconcile, they should show so I uh, should be and show us. But this one, not only you follow Como. Ah, you're on your own. Well, that is it. I thought I should just let you guys see. What I saw. Well, that is it though. Mm. I'm signing out. 
Thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly do so. Please support my channel to grow. You know, subscription is free. Just click the red button. That's it. And enable the notification bell so you get to see more of the videos I push out. And that is it. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.